What's up guys? It's your girl Riva and I am back again with another video. If you're new to this channel, hi my name is Riva. It's very nice to meet you. Um, before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. And as I always say, make sure you guys leave your comments in the comment section down below. It does not matter how you feel about this video, but we all want to talk about it. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow my Instagram. It's at R-I-V-A-H underscore J-O-R-D-O-N. And uh, this is a video that was requested to me on my Instagram DM. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into the video. Cat is trying to put a square peg in a round hole saying, my view is crazy, but it's actually based in biological fact and it's worked for millennia. And as a matter of fact, we have the society we have today because of polygamy to some degree. Monogamy ah. as well, but monogamy for the man is a choice. Monogamy for the woman, eh, it's pretty much necessary. So what facts do you have to say? So, whoa. Did not know, you know, all I see from the title is the debunks 1% fantasy. So did not know that they were going to be talking about um, polygamy. And I find that very, very interesting. So um, I'm just, in, I'm very intrigued on how this conversation is going to unfold. That polygamy works. Since the beginning of time. Uh -huh. <laughs> men, high men value men before. have had women. But have those them. women actually been happy? Like, okay. aren't, aren't we talking relationships on a basis so of whether Kat, or not we're both happy? Irrelevant, Kat. I'm going to be Irrelevant. Marriage? I mean, I'm not going to be sharing no man unless I'm happy. Okay, Kat. You know, I want to be happy. I want to be I want to be feeling like the attention's on me. Okay, well, Kat, here's the thing. See, and I'm going to show you how crazy your argument is here in a second. But marriage is not about necessarily happiness. It's about duty of raising children that are going to be contributing members of society. That's what marriage is about. That's only in the school. West, okay, only in the West do we have this crazy concept that we need to be happy at all times within marriage. Um, really quick, I just want to say that, um, I mean, a big part of her argument of saying, like, I want to have the attention. I want to be, you know, the most looked at. Like, that narrative going in, obviously, polygamy not, would not work in a relationship with this woman. Obviously, she would not enter into a relationship like that or, uh, you know, commit to a relationship like that. She's the type of person that would rather if her man stepped out and she had no idea about it or literally like, you know, a, just a, a man who wants to be monogamous as she does. Because the basis of the women who are in those relationships do not have... Uh, like an envious, jealous, like hatred toward each other, they have more of a different kind of understanding. Putting your children in a stable household and giving them food to eat and a, a safe home to be at should be where you derive your happiness. And when you break the family apart, which is what's going on in the West, single mother households, etc., things get fucked up and kids end up fucked up. Yes. It is what it is. Yeah. Now, going back to what you said, you said you want a man that makes three to $500,000 a year is going to... Basically, never say no to you and let you I'm live the lifestyle I'm not saying he doesn't have to say no. I'm saying my lifestyle is never going to allow me to say no to myself. Okay. The point I'm trying to make is this. I'm just giving you your standards, right? You want a guy, pretty much the man you described as a 1% man. Now, I did not challenge you on your preference. I said you have your preferences. I'm All also a 1% woman. <laughs> okay. Let me finish my point and then I will give you in a second why that is irrelevant from what you're saying. So you want a 1% man, okay? You want a man that makes a lot of money, successful, ambitious, can provide you a certain lifestyle. I countered and said, you can want that, but the consequence of dealing with this caliber of man, who's rare, is you're going to have to share him, okay? You don't like that. You want him to be exclusive to you. So you're hoping that you'll find one that's going to meet these requirements, which quite frankly is slim to none. I understand that my environment is not conducive to what I want. So what am I doing? You're operating on possibilities. I'm operating on probabilities. I know if I go to the Middle East where things are different, the women are actually held to a standard, mm -hmm. right, to become good wives and mothers, etc. I am going to increase my probabilities of getting what I want. And I am willing to travel and make some sacrifices to make it happen. You are not, though. You are want to basically get this top-tier man. You want him to be committed to only you and you want a certain lifestyle where you can't necessarily be told no 
That's a possibility, but it's slim. So you can do what you want, but at least what I'm trying to do is actually probable to a higher degree, and I'm making overt actions to make it happen. I think it's also very necessary to say that being with, um, you know, quote unquote, the high value man, the 1% man, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be in a polygamous relationship, but it does mean that you may not be in a monogamous relationship. And I think that that's important as well, because being in, you know, a quote unquote polygamous relationship is a man who literally has more than one relationship. Not more than one person that he, you know, hooks up with. Not more than one person he sees here and there. This is, uh, these are, are women or um, another woman who he is in like a functional, full-on relationship with, cares for, provides for, uh, may have children with this woman. Like you would know this woman. Like it's a whole, you know, real situation when you get into like quote-unquote polygamy. But being with a high-value man Again, you might not be in a necessarily a polygamous relationship, could be, maybe not, but it doesn't mean that he is going to give you 100% monogamy. Damn. Ether. Okay, Fire. I have a question. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Did you, did you have anything you want to say on that, cat? She's nice. I mean, you can, well, I, mean, I know that, but I want to give her a chance to saying, rebut that. All I'm saying is that the more that I feel that it's not possible to find the things that I want, the less that I'm going to have my eyes open to the opportunities that will give me what I want. So, I mean, I'm not going to settle until I get what I want. Okay, that's fine. And I mean, Nothing like, if that. I'm going to provide the lifestyle that I want, then I want to make sure that I'm finding somebody that's also going to want the lifestyle that I want to live. And whether or not he can provide for that, he still needs to be on board with the, dir the direction I want to go. Question. Whether or not he wants to build that empire with me, whether or not he already has that empire built, but it's going to be where I want to go in my life. So she rules the relationship. So basically, she's the leader. So she's the man. So so somebody in being in a relationship with her, being involved with her, would have to follow her lead. So basically, she's not looking for like a strong, you know, man that is going to lead her and guide her and protect her and all that. She's just looking for somebody that can fill a role, fulfill her needs when necessary. And then um, at the end of the day, when she wants children, he has to give it to her and then be at like her becking call. So she's she's basically looking for someone to fill a spot, not necessarily for like a full on relationship. OK, well, OK, so you want a very successful man that makes that kind of money to build an empire with you that's going to be monogamous to you. Hey, we can I all mean, dream. if we both have the lifestyle that we both desire, why are we not going to want to do it together? And if we have that love for each other. Then why are we not going because to be able to Because that man was already successful when you found him and mm -hmm. isn't going to change his course because of you. That's the difference. I mean, but I'm already successful. Yeah, but he's significantly more successful than you. He's made he's made a lot. But he's he's made the man you're looking for is making quite a bit of money. Here's the thing, ladies. You don't make three hundred to five hundred thousand dollars a year working with a woman. You do that shit by being ambitious and being willing to do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. The girl can come in and maybe compliment you help you build it even more. But when you get to a certain level, you're self-sufficient. You don't need help anymore. Right. Okay? The caliber of man that you're chasing is a type A assertive dominant male that doesn't need you. Period. Which That's not following your lead. <laughs> That's literally not following your lead, not jumping on your bandwagon. Doesn't have to do doesn't necessarily have to do anything to follow your guidelines of being in a relationship because he can get with another person who is a lot more cooperative, easier to talk to, easier to be around, and build a relationship with her instead. You said before, I'm a 1% woman. I'm assuming you mean financially, right? Because you earn quite a bit? I mean, I mean... What that makes you 1% woman? That's what I was going to ask you. Um, being natural, my financials. Okay, um... Are you aware that men don't care about a woman's financials? What actually makes a woman 1% woman are things that women typically don't tend to highlight? At all. Mm -hmm. Compliant, feminine, attractive, fit, willing to... Would you... I mean, I would say... Promiscuous, I'm willing to hear the words no. Willing to hear the words no, mm -hmm. following his lead. These are things that make a woman 1%. Attraction, ladies, is not symmetrical. I'm going to say that again. Attraction between the two genders is not symmetrical. No. If I want a woman that's feminine, submissive, and attractive, right, and cute, the woman is within her right to want a male that's masculine, dominant, and a leader. We complement each other. We're very different. 
It's like batteries. It's, 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 you know, positively charged and negatively charged. It's like yin and yang, alpha, omega. Like, it's literally the balance um, that's required. And a lot of women, a lot of modern women, they want uh, what a man would want in a, wo in a woman. They want a man who is, uh, I'm not going to say feminine because they're going to, you know, they're going to, you know, say like, oh, that's not true. But they want a man who is more like a, the weaker vessel. Um, the one that they can control, tell what to do, follows their lead, uh, you know, does all these things that it's outside of a man's natural nature. So uh, that's why a lot of women, when you see, they're either alone or they have to, you know, search a different route because that's why I ask the questions like, do you really want to be in a relationship with a strong man or do you really want to be like in a relationship with a woman? Because everything they're describing that they want you know, is not of a man's nature and not the man that they're describing. And I thought it was interesting that, like, her face was making, like, all of these, uh, you know, like, mm, 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 you know, kind of gestures when he's saying these things and he's describing what a man wants from a woman because he is a man, right? So he has the right to say what he is looking for in a woman and what um, he knows other men are looking for in a woman. And you know, women have this thing in their mind where they're just like, oh, no, well, that's not true. That's not what men are looking for. And you're literally having conversation with men. The things that you want are what men want. You might say ah. to yourself, I'm a 1% woman, but that's false. The market dictates your value, not you. I'm going to say that again because a lot of girls want to sit here and say, I'm a princess. I'm a 10. <laughs> no, you're not because the market dictates your value, not you. Men have to deal with this reality that yeah. the market dictates our value because guess what? If I'm broke short, ugly, girls don't date me. Exactly. So the market dictates my value. So as a woman, if a high value man isn't marrying you or proposing to you that you love, admire, and respect, the market is judging you as well. And now you're not of value. The problem is this. We live in a world where we tell women that they can do no wrong. They're perfect. However they come and they don't have to self-improve. And I'm here to tell you, that's a fucking lie. You got to self-improve just like us. And you got to bring value. Mm -hmm. The thing is you guys are brainwashed to think your value comes from what we do. No, it doesn't. It comes from the opposite of what we do because women, men need a woman to assist him in his mission, not your mission. Your mission is irrelevant. When he benefits, you benefit. When you benefit only, when you benefit, he's immediately going to be pushed to the side. No girl wants to be with a guy that she can run all over. No. So a 1% woman does not exist unless she's alongside a 1% man because your value is determined by the caliber of man you can attract. You can't self-proclaim you're a 1% woman. Guys, this podcast, if it's just nothing else, invest in dog food and cat food <laughs> and save your money. And cat, that's that was that <laughs> invest in dog food. I just got what he said. Invest in dog food, cat food, and save your money. I think it's important that we talk about um, stuff like this because the narrative of how women have it. I mean, and obviously, like I don't know. There's probably a longer video, but as we can see, she literally didn't have anything else to say. Um, because what else can you say, right? Like, what else is there to be said after he just put it all out there for you? And, um, this is when we talk about, like, the delusion or, like, the, you know, fairy tale or you can have whatever you want mentality when in actuality it's like, um, you just want yourself in a, in a mate. You want somebody to just do all of these things, read your mind, you know, follow your lead, do all of these things. You want to dominate the relationship, but then at the end of the day, you want a strong man. And those two things cannot coexist. So um, let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below. Um, this video actually was sent to me on my Instagram. Um, I don't remember who sent it to me. And also, I just could not scroll through all the messages. So please forgive me. Um, but make sure that you guys are following my Instagram. It's at R-I-V-A-H underscore J-O-R-D-O-N. Make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, and make sure you guys leave your comments in the comment section down below. It doesn't matter what you have to say, how you feel. We want to talk about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Ah, love you.